I made a huge mistake. What's up, party people? It's your girl, Kiki, owner of Kiki's Decor, if you don't already know, honey. If you don't know, we are an event decorating business here to show you how to have less stress and more time to impress. So in today's video, we are doing another baby shower. The colors are like um, dark green, eucalyptus green, um, Okay. Like a dark green, eucalyptus green, light green, into tan, and then into white, adding on gold. I hope you enjoy. Before we get into this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos like these. I got a couple of things for the baby shower. I just wanted to unbox them with you, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First package here. Ooh. I'll put up the inspiration picture right here. So if you see the stand that's on the side. So one side of the stand she wanted to be the cream color and then the other side she wanted it to be like an off-white. So this is the off-white. Next one is really heavy. Oh. So this part. you it later what it looks like but you've probably seen the stand before i just bought another one because the other stand is with my mom this is the actual bottom part this is what it looks like so this would be the bottom and it's really heavy okay so far i do have some colors here this is like a green eucalyptus green gold um, this is a white color. This is white sand. The white sand is actually too dark. I'm going to make that as the spice chai. So this one. What I did was put the white sand balloon inside white. And it actually made the antique white that I was looking for. This. So let me show you the the balloon itself this one is white so antique white white now there's two other colors these two the pistachio and the olive color that i'm having trouble with i thought it would work if i do the eucalyptus green color and then put black inside to make it more darker it didn't seem dark enough so i went on amazon bought some more balloons it's probably not gonna get here until tomorrow which is fine because i was able to get my hair done today and finish around a good time for me to go hit up my balloon decor store i went over there and got some balloons these are the greens that i got this one this one and this one i'm not really sure if it's gonna work i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna see and then i'll come back and show you guys the other thing i did want to show you guys high shine i'm gonna put this in this spray i think i got it from either tiktok shop timu or Amazon whichever one but I just got one of these I probably got it off of Amazon I'm not really sure I put it in the description box but it's one of those hair sprays and I think I seen somewhere where it's better to put it in this bottle because the way it sprays it doesn't just shoot out it kind of comes out like mist so I'm gonna try it today you want to see
This is Matt. Screenshot that. Okay, now we gonna spray it. Oh, there it is. Hopefully it doesn't have white streaks. See the difference? huge mistake just a little story time of what happened so it's the morning the day of the event we have everything packed and it's in a pile we went ahead and packed a car realized that i have too much balloons my van my little suv kevin yes i named him kevin was not gonna fit all those balloons on top of the other tools that we needed my grandmother said hey use my car cool thank you we didn't double check and look to see if everything was there i was just like okay you know time is ticking we only have an hour and 30 minutes let's hurry up and get there double checking even if you know you get late i'd rather be prepared and have everything together than not being prepared and not having everything <laughs> so we get all the way over there it's about 30 minutes away and realize that when we're there i didn't have the nails and then half of the stands wasn't there so i'm setting up of what i could my boyfriend goes back to the house to get everything mind you it's 30 minutes away and traffic as well you gotta put in traffic and you only have an hour and 30 minutes he goes and get the stuff i'm setting up of what i could and the last part was to put the balloons up and as well as the backdrop so he's on his way back. I'm letting the person who was planning everything, letting them know, hey, you know, he's on his way back. It's the only thing that I have to do. He gets there, he's starting. I got the other stand and at least put the green, the grass wall up and see if I can put the balloons up. You know, people are already there. So he's trying to put the stand together, realizing it's two different sizes. Mind you, if you remember my last video, it's a six foot and it's a seven foot. And he had instructions the last time he did it. So he's like, I don't have all the um, nails to put this together. Like, what? You don't have all the nails. <laughs> So he tells me he doesn't have all the nails. He's try he's still trying to figure it out. And at that time, she's there and she's waiting and everybody's asking me how long, how much longer. So I'm like, okay, give me 30 more minutes. We're gonna try to figure it out. My best friend is there trying to help me. I'm going through our bins, trying to find different tools. What could I do? I did figure out a way that I actually learned and I'll put that video in a description box below. I'll also maybe do a video on it so then I can show you on my side how I put that together using her idea. I changed the mock-up to be like this to this. And you're probably saying, Kira, that's not the vision. That that's that's not like the mock-up. I know. But I had to think quickly because the stands that was supposed to be used as like the mock-up, I didn't have enough <laughs> nails to put it together. So I had to think unacceptable. Very disappointed in myself. Spoke with her, explained everything that I just said mentioned here. Of course she was upset, of course she was disappointed. And I think it hit harder because I know her. And you if you know me, I'm still a baby business. So I'm still learning, yes. But I still do a good job. I still do a good job. And you guys know and be vulnerable that there are going to be times where you make mistakes. And if you make a mistake, hey, just learn from it. From this, the first thing is definitely double checking to make sure that I have everything. Maybe packing the night before. And I thought packing or at least putting it in a group was enough, but I guess not. Number two, my setup time is going to change. I need at least two hours of setup time. That's number two. 
Number three is organization. So I bought a toolbox. I got this from Home Depot. I'll do a separate video to show what supplies that I'll add to it. There's a couple of videos down in the description box as well that you can take a look that I actually made a list. Love them. They're one of my favorite balloon artists. That is number three. Definitely organization because I was going through the bin trying to find certain things and they weren't there. Toolbox is going to be much better. And then lastly is the 260 balloons that I was talking about before. The usual way that I do it is if you've seen my Halloween video, we'll see how I use the, the necks of the balloons and tie them together. Sometimes that doesn't work. So using that 260 balloon method was actually very helpful. I'm grateful for it. I learned from it. Stay tuned for more. Doesn't mean that it's the end of the the world i'm mad i'm disappointed i'm upset but gotta keep going keep moving and don't quit so take that as a lesson and learn from me so i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos like these mm -hmm.